Hi everyone. This is going to be a demonstration of making a book with a cover on it uh, by using two pieces of paper that are the same exact size. So the first thing we want to do is the inside pages are going to be what are called accordion pages. And to make the accordion, we are going to fold the piece of paper in half and we want to end up with eight sides. So fold the piece of paper in half and then open it back up and bring this fold out to this edge here and then crease down like this. Then do the same thing on the other side. So you're using the folded edge and the cut edge and lining those up. Okay. Now we want to do uh, twice as many folds as we have there. So we're going to take that folded edge and line it up with that crease there. And then this cut edge and line it up with this fold like so and then this and line it up with this fold like so. So when we open it back up, we have eight panels here. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and refold it so that it's alternating. We're following the lines that we made creases for alternating mountain and valley folds. So you can see how it's an accordion, why or why it's called an accordion fold. <clears throat> okay, so then I'm going to open it back out and then fold up each of the corners like that. Just lining it up with the cut edge with the folded edge again, but we're folding in a diagonal. Okay, and then bring the two cut edges together briefly and line them up. And then with your finger, just press down right here in the middle along this middle fold area. And then you'll know where the middle of the page is. And if it helps, you can make a pencil mark there. And what you want to do is fold the first side up just to the pencil mark. And then the other side up just so that it slightly overlaps. just a tiny bit of an overlap. If you want, you can make a pencil mark to show that tiny little space so that you can line your other fold up to it. Okay, so let's start with the center fold again and then just recrease everything. So 
they're alternating. Okay, so now we have the pages of our book. Make sure your overlaps are good. And the page actually is made into what could be used as a pocket. So here's another book that I made where I put, I tore shapes out and put them in the pockets of the pages with my story here. It says, the artist is the window through which the light shines to illuminate the subject. That's my little quote that I wanted to honor with my book. So you can decide what you would like to insert. It, uh, it can be anything you want. It could even be in, you know, postcard pieces or drawings that you've made. And as you can see in this one, I used creative tearing to make my shapes. Okay, so we've made our pages. And now we're going to make the cover. And with the cover, we're going to take a piece of paper the same size, but we're going to fold it a couple of times. Once like this. And then like this. So it ends up being just the slightest bit taller than the inside of your book. And it's heavier because it's been folded a couple more times, which is appropriate for a cover. Now let's take our pencil mark and make a mark that's a pencil width away from each end. And then fold it from each side just up to that pencil mark. And that will give us two lines that will create the spine for your book. So reinforce those by folding them again. So that's a lot of thicknesses of paper to get through. There we go. So the book will fit in there. Now we're going to make the covers, uh, give them a flap. So using your pencil again, line it up with the closest spine fold and make a little mark. And then do the same thing on the other side. and then fold your covers to that mark. So, here's our book inside the covers. Um, in order for the book to fit in the cover, we need to do a little alteration. So lift up this side and just fold that first area up a little bit so there's a little bit of a diagonal. And the same thing here. I like to do it so it's hidden inside. and like so. So reinforce all of that. And then slide 
slide your book over that. And then here, tuck your cover into the, your book. And there you have it.